Okay, the way of doing this question is to do a quick number line. Now we're going to put 130 in the middle. Now it's the nearest 10, so I'm thinking what would the next one down be? Well, if we had slightly less, if we had 128, it would still round to 130. So the next one down that it could have rounded to is 120, and the next one up it could have rounded to is 140. Now to find the intervals, uh, we're going to work out the halfway between the two. So I'm going to work out this one here and this one here. So halfway between 120 and 130 is 125. And halfway between 130 and 140 is 135. Now, it says it wants H for the height. So we're going to put H in the middle. I'm going to put 125 to the left of it and 135 to the right of it. Now H could have been, or H was greater than, but it could have been 125 as well. So we have a little arrow underneath the, sorry, a little equals underneath the inequality. H was less than 135, but it couldn't be 135, otherwise it would round up to 140. So we don't put the equal sign there. Now this middle bit here, that will always be the same when you're answering this question, when you're asked for the error interval. The letter here might change um, it might be fussy and ask you for a letter, or it might not. It might just say, just use any letter. If it says use any letter, X or N or, or whatever you want to use is, is acceptable. But the signs here will always look like this for an error interval.